Hi, I just thought that I might read a little bit of the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 for those who may be interested and maybe those who haven't seen or looked at it before. I'm going to start really at part two of the Act, which is civil and political rights, life and security of the person. The right not to be deprived of life. No one shall be deprived of life except on such grounds as are established by law and are consistent with the principles of fundamental justice. Right not to be subjected to torture or cruel treatment. Everyone has the right not to be subjected to torture or to cruel, degrading or disproportionately severe treatment or punishment. Right not to be subjected to medical or scientific experimentation. Every person has the right not to be subjected to medical or scientific experimentation without that person's consent. The right to refuse to undergo a medical treatment. Everyone has the right to refuse to undergo any medical treatment. Moving to democratic and civil rights. Electoral rights. Every New Zealand citizen who is of or over the age of 18 years a has the right to vote in genuine periodic elections of members of the House of Representatives, which the elections shall be by equal suffrage and by secret ballot, and B is qualified for membership of the House of Representatives. The freedom of thought, conscience and religion. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion and belief including the right to adopt and to hold opinions without interference. The freedom of expression. Everyone has the right to freedom of expression, including the freedom to seek, receive and impart information and opinions of any kind in any form. The manifestation of religion and belief. Every person has the right to manifest that person's religion or belief in worship, observance, practice or teaching either individually or in community with others and either in public or in private. Freedom of peaceful assembly. Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly. Freedom of association. Everyone has the right to freedom of association. Right, moving on. Freedom of movement. Everyone lawfully in New Zealand has the right to freedom of movement and residence in New Zealand. Every New Zealand citizen has the right to enter New Zealand. Everyone has the right to leave New Zealand. No one who is not a New Zealand citizen and who is lawfully in New Zealand shall be required to leave New Zealand except under a decision taken on grounds prescribed by law. Non-discrimination and minority rights. Freedom from discrimination. Everyone has the right to freedom from discrimination on the grounds of discrimination in the Human Rights Act 1993. Measures taken in good faith for the purpose of assisting or advancing persons or groups of persons disadvantaged because of discrimination that is unlawful by virtue of Part 2 of the Human Rights Act 1993 do not constitute discrimination. The rights of minorities. A person who belongs to an ethnic, religious or linguistic minority in New Zealand shall not be denied the right in community with other members of that minority to enjoy the culture, to profess and practice the religion or to use the language of that minor minority. Search, arrest and detention. 
Unreasonable search and seizure. Everyone has the right to be secure against unreasonable search or seizure, whether of the person, property or correspondence or otherwise. Liberty of the person. Everyone has the right to not to be arbitrarily arrested or detained. I'm not going to go on because there is so much more in this, um, but I think that there's plenty in the very beginning to have a discussion about why these rights should be inalienable and why we should make sure that if Parliament or the government is going to push through any legislation that would change in any way these freedoms and rights, we should be concerned and we should be informing ourselves. So there's so much more to say and with the COVID vaccinations, um, we can straight away look to the right to refuse to undergo medical treatment and the right to not be subjected to medical or scientific experimentation. We know that the vaccinations that are being rolled out presently in New Zealand are still an experiment. Until 2023, there is no hard and fast scientific data to assure us of their safety or efficacy. That is not up for debate. That is simply what has been true all the way along. And no matter what our government wants us to believe at this point, we need to remember that we have the right to ask questions, be informed, and refuse if we do not agree. My personal stance on this is that until this experiment is completed, I will not feel that I have the information to give informed consent. So that's just me, and I'm really happy for other people to make their own decisions. But I would like to remind them that they have these rights, so when they go into a vaccination centre, they should be able to see the, um, the Privacy Act and the Patient Codes of Rights on display. It should be made available to them. They are, should be able to ask and receive answers to their questions about any treatment that they're about to undergo. And they should be given the information in a way that is not coercive. Also, I would like to say about the COVID lockdowns, and um, this goes right back to the beginning, that when we look at things like right not to be deprived of life, that is in fact what is happening when we have these COVID lockdowns. There are people who are not being allowed to live their lives. They are not being allowed to see their families, and they are being subjected to torture and cruel treatment. Uh, yeah, I think there's an awful lot more in this. I would encourage everybody to go and check it out. Just print it out. It's 12 pages of um, paper if you can print it, or just download it and read it. But I believe that today in Parliament there is... Um, a process undergoing, ongoing, that they are trying to actually change the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act from 1990. So if you feel in any way that you have questions that are not yet answered, I would say write to your MP, uh, speak about it openly with others. People do not need to have the same opinion as you but you have the freedom of expression and you are allowed to impart information and opinions of any kind in any form and we need to be aware that this includes um, concerns that we're going to have around the hate speech laws. Now any reasonable person would understand that we do not want to see or live in a world where People are allowed to go around threatening each other or causing harm with their words. But words are only words and 
expression is really important for us all. So yeah, I, I guess I'm rambling a little bit now, but I would just encourage everybody to take a look and to have a think. Uh, don't believe that there is a single source of information or a single source of truth because truth is only true for some of us. You know, we all have um, ways to decipher and perceive truth and uh, that is down to the individual. It cannot be mandated or created um, by others for us. So that will be all that I share today. There's more in this, there's more to talk about. Uh, I am totally open to having conversations with people. I do not expect that everyone will have the same opinion as me and I welcome that because I would like to understand better what other people's ideas and opinions are. Um, but in the most respectful way, I'm just wanting to put this out there because I really care for my family and my friends and all people. Uh, and I would really hope that um, this is the kind of dialogue that we can have respectfully in any forum, but especially in um, forums where we're sharing all kinds of things with each other that maybe sometimes are a little disrespectful of other people's opinions. Okay, that's me signing off. Thank you.